Hey guys, at the end of 2021, the Raspbian Foundation released a version of Raspberry OS that was based on Debian Bullseye instead of Debian Buster. So how do you upgrade from Buster to Bullseye? Well, the right way to do it is to do a completely clean install. So that is to take out the SD card from your Raspberry Pi and do a fresh install of the Bullseye OS. We're going to do it the wrong way. What is the wrong way? Well, what we're actually going to do here is go into some of our live running Raspberry Pis and change the branches from Buster to Bullseye and tell it to pull Bullseye packages instead of Buster packages. Then we're going to do a few upgrades and updates to ensure that we've got the latest versions of some packages for Bullseye instead of Buster. So before we go any further, I need you guys to take a backup of your Raspberry Pis. If you need help with that, you can check out some of my videos on this topic over here. Go ahead, I'll wait. The reason the backups are so critically important is because doing it this way means it's not really a question of will I break something, it's more a question of will I break something that I care about. I've had a lot of success doing this method using my Raspberry Pis Models 2s and Model 3s. But you are probably using your Raspberry Pi for things that I don't use it for and in a way that I don't use it for. So just because I haven't had any problems or noticed any problems with doing it this way does not mean that you won't have any problems. Your mileage may seriously vary on this one. However, with that warning out of the way, let's take a look at what we need to do here. Once we've logged into our Raspberry Pi, the very first thing we're going to want to modify is our sources.list. We can do that with the sudo nano and then a sources.list path here. And remember that all of these commands will be listed in the video description down below. So once we open up this file, we'll see that it's pulling from the buster main branch. And we just need to edit buster here to bullseye. And then we can hit Control S and Control X to save our changes and exit out of the file itself. The next thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that all of our other repositories are updated to point to Bullseye instead of Buster. Now we can list all of those other repositories by using the ls command on the sources.list.d directory and hitting enter here. Now we can see that I have three other repository lists, docker.list, raspy.list, and vscode.list. You might only see raspy and vscode if you've got nothing else installed and don't have docker, or you might see some more. We're going to have to go into each of these repositories repositories and make sure they're pulling from Bullseye instead of Buster. We can do that relatively easily by using sudo nano and then pointing the file path of each of those repositories. So for example, here we've got raspy.list and I'm just going to hit enter. It's going to open up a very similar file to the one that we just edited. So we just change Buster here to bullseye.main and then control S and control X. And then we're going to want to repeat that for vscode.list and docker.list and anything else that you've got on screen. Once we've pointed all of our sources to pull from the bullseye branch instead of the buster branch, we're going to want to do a full update and upgrade of all of our packages to ensure full compatibility with the new version of the OS. So we can do that by using the full update, upgrade, auto remove and auto clean command that I'm so fond of and you'll find again in the video description down below. Now it might take a few minutes for your Raspberry Pi to update. Most of the packages will probably need to make some changes here. So after that excruciatingly long update process, we're actually going to go ahead and install two dependencies that Bullseye has that Buster didn't. So we're going to go ahead and run sudo apt install libgcc and gcc-8 base. There's a solid chance that between this update process and the previous update process, you might be prompted to see if uh, it's okay to restart some of your services doing the update and upgrade. If that's the case, you can go ahead and select yes, it's perfectly fine to do that. And once that extremely long update process is done, we're going to run another upgrade on the system. So this time we're going to run sudo apt full hyphen upgrade. And that will once again take a couple of minutes or more to update. And after that excruciatingly long update process, we're going to do one more update, this time to the firmware using sudo rpi hyphen update. Now it is going to warn you that you don't want to update your firmware unless you absolutely have to, and there's a specific reason to do so. We're upgrading our 
OS. That's a great reason to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Y to continue. And finally, once that is completed, the Raspberry Pi is going to suggest that you reboot. I'm going to go ahead and do that with sudo reboot. And it's going to disconnect the session. And we're just going to have to wait for the Pi to come back up again. Once the Pi comes back up again, I should be on Bullseye. And there is an easy way for me to check. I just need to type cat forward slash etc forward slash os hyphen release. And I can see here on line four, my version is version 11 brackets Bullseye. And my version code name is Bullseye. So looks good, guys. I am running Bullseye. So that's it, guys. That's how you update to Bullseye instead of Buster. At this stage, I'd encourage you to go ahead and do the YouTube dance, which is to subscribe, maybe like the video, and go ahead and leave a comment if you're having problems or if it's been a smooth upgrade for you. Otherwise, I will catch you guys on the flip side.